Bitchers, welcome to Crafty Bitches. Today I'm gonna be making jam, well not today. It has to be every other day. It's jam every other day. Today isn't any other day, you know. So today I'm gonna make strawberry jam. I've got my matching strawberry dress, because I mean, come on, we gotta get dressed up for the occasion. And let's see how it goes. All right, so I have all of the necessary ingredients. I've got sugar, I've got strawberries. I like to add a little Meyer lemon. That's a little secret from my mom, but it has to be a Meyer lemon. And we've got pectin and a giant cauldron, you know, if you have a line around. If not, a giant pot will do. So I've already uh, de-stemmed all of these strawberries. It's about four cups. With so I've already de-stemmed these strawberries. It's about four cups, so I'm gonna mash that up, but not too mashy, because I kind of like my jam chunky, so you can decide how you like it. Woo. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Mm. Just eat that right now. All right, so you have to add pectin, which makes it kind of jelly-like. And you can also add a bit of calcium water to it, uh, but I recommend that you add it to some water and mix it up first because otherwise it just gets all clumpy like Ovaltine or something. So we're gonna get two teaspoons of pectin and two teaspoons of the calcium water. Well, it's just calcium and then we're gonna put it in water. Okay, so I've got it in this little dish here and I'm gonna put some water in it and then mix it up with the whisk. So I've mixed together the pectin and the calcium water, and now I'm gonna put all of my mashed up strawberry into the giant pan. Woo! Now we're gonna bring the fruit and pectin and calcium water to boil. Oh. Add this in. I'm gonna add a little bit of Meyer lemon zest into here. Has to be Meyer lemon, according to my mom. So definitely track down a Meyer lemon if you can. It definitely makes a difference. So now I'm gonna add my sugar. You need about two cups for the amount of fruit that I put in. I always underdo it a little bit. I don't like my jam too sweet because the fruit should be sweet enough. Now I'm gonna squeeze in just a little bit of lemon juice. And then we're gonna bring it to a boil and let it firm up. You wanna stir it occasionally just to make sure everything's mixing together. Ooh, it's starting to smell really good. Okay, now once it's come to a full boil, we're gonna turn off the heat and let it rest, and then that should solidify it, and it'll be nice and jelly jammy. And uh, I can't wait to eat it on toast. It's gonna be so delicious. Oh my God. So it's starting to firm up, and I'm gonna give it a little taste test to see if it's too sweet. Hopefully that's not the case, because you can't really fix that. Uh, you can add sugar, but you can't subtract it. Oh no, it's good. Well, it's very good jam. Mmm. Oh no, I'm just gonna eat all of this. It's gonna be gone. So we're just letting this cool down and it should solidify a bit. As long as it's still steaming, it's probably still too hot. So mix it occasionally and put on some tunes while you wait. My mom and I always like to make the same joke that we play Bob Marley's jamming while we're making jam. You know, mom jokes, stuff like that. Speaking of. Jamming. 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 Jamming.
smells so good. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> so while you're waiting for your jam to cool, you can start collecting your jars. Make sure they're clean. Use hot water and soap. I mean, you could run them through the dishwasher if you want to, depending on what was in them before. Uh, but we're going to get all these clean jars together and then a funnel really helps to not make a mess, which is a, a positive thing. And you can get those all prepped and ready to go. So then you can either freeze them if you wanna keep it for longer, if you're not gonna eat all this jam at once, although I don't know how you can help it, or you can put them in the fridge for a period of time. I'm not preserving them, I'm just making jam. Preserves involves metal lids and boiling and various other things. That's not this. Okay, so my jam has gotten nice and thick. It's gonna be very good. I'm excited about it. It's very good jam. It's very good. And now we're gonna fill our jars up and use this funnel so we don't make a mess. And I can't wait to try it on some toast. Jam tomorrow, jam yesterday. We'll never ever jam today. Oh, you can wish as you want, you can want as you wish. Still, you better hear me say. Jam tomorrow, jam yesterday. Okay, anyway, here we go. And this will harden up even more as it sits and once you start refrigerating it and everything. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells so good. Better. Much better. overfilled this one slightly okay so in this worst case scenario you just get a little spoon and put it back but don't take the funnel out because it'll all spill everywhere I think this is gonna fit exactly in these jars now that we've filled all of the jars you get to lick the spoon. Oh my god. Or the mallet in this case. Mmm. Oh man. Oh no, but like seriously though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, you know where I'll be for the rest of the uh summer. Mmm. Oh holy shit. Oh my goodness. So now we've got some strawberry jam for the summer, and um it's not gonna last maybe till the summer though. For the spring, it'll be great. Cheers. Well, it's very good jam. Mm -hmm.